cloud inversions they're a hiker's dream if you've ever experienced one you'll know exactly what I mean for me hiking these mountains is fabulous anyway but when you go up and you get a cloud inversion it's something else so in November 2024 when I got wind of this special phenomenon potentially going to happen above 800 metres I couldn't resist the temptation so my pursuit of this inversion will live long in the memory So I'm Michael and welcome to a cloud inversion on Since Sunday Crack. A hiker's dream. I hope you all enjoy it. I've looked at the Mountain Weather Information Service last night and there's a chance, 80% chance that we'll get cloud free summits this morning above the clouds. So I set off, I got up at 4.30 this morning with all my gear, all my electronic gear for me, for me photographs equipment and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed this morning for some, uh, for hopefully some inversions. I'm on my way to, uh, ultimately to uh, since, since, since Sunday Crag via, via Burks and uh, hopefully I'll be rewarded for my efforts. So I've reached the top of Burks and I'm just on my way up to St Sunday Crag now. And uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed as I'm looking down there now, back towards Burks' summit, very atmospheric. And uh, I'm just about above the clouds there now, you can just see there. It's just starting to dawn a little bit. I'm pointing towards the sun at the moment. And uh, hopefully, I'll get, get a bit higher up towards St Sunday Crag and we'll get right above it. Well, it's looking pretty good so far. There's Dolly Wagon Pike, just in the clouds there, where I uh, I camped last week, and in a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare on Halloween. I I was chasing inversions last week as well, and I have to say with not much success. According to the weather forecast, there's a good there's a there's a chance there'll be some cloud inversions. Um, something more the next 24 hours so I'll keep your fingers crossed for that. So I had the bright idea of going up and camping on the summit of Dolly Wagon Pike and I was stuck in clouds, still bleak, all day and all night. Never saw a bat. It looks quite a here, but it was blown an absolute holy. What a horrendous night. Uh, never mind. These things are set to try ya. But hopefully today, heading towards the summit of Sun Cindy Crag, I'm gonna get some nice cloud inversions. Just above the, the clouds now, and I can just see clear skies. Right, the boss. So keep your fingers crossed. So I've just reached the top of uh, since Sunday Crag, and uh, I'll keep, I still keep my fingers crossed, but it's looking pretty spectacular at the moment. And uh, I'll just give you a little 360 now of this summit. Can't see all the tops yet. Uh, fair fail in front of us. Dove Crag and that range is uh, part of the Eastern Fells is, uh, is shrouded in cloud but I'm sure I'm sure it's going to clear itself shortly but it looks absolutely amazing at the moment. Uh, the Hell Vellum range which is behind us clear at the moment so uh, hopefully I'll get some good views I'm pretty certain I will anyway but the sun's just setting in front of us there now. 
he fancy getting mixed up between my sun sets and my sun rises. Well, it was early in the morning, and anybody can make a mistake. And uh, hopefully, have a good time. It's, uh, the efforts look like they're being rewarded, so I'm over the moon. So I knew the sun was due to rise at 7.30. So the first thing I did was set my GoPro up. I didn't want to miss this. Pointing east, down the cape towards Gravel Pike. Looked magnificent. And was a canny start to the day. I also took my SLR and my tripod up with us as well. I haven't had that out for a while. But it takes a canny picture. So when you've got a GoPro, an SLR and a drone with conditions like this, you can create a real spectacle. So let's set this drone away and we'll see what we can do. I was even treated with a mountain phenomenon that is the Brocken Spectre. before you head up towards Fairfield. There's a bloke down there just standing on the top. We got some good ones, Martin. As you can see, I'm quite happy. I've been laughing at myself there before. <laughs> absolutely unbelievable up here. What a what a spectacle it's been. And uh, I've had an absolute fabulous time and I hope, I hope you've all enjoyed the footage. But uh, I'll give you a little 360 of this place at the moment. 
It's, uh, it's about dinner time now. Maybe we're about, maybe about five hours. We're making up for last week. Ah, uh, don't you be worrying about that one, Michael. You've getting your idea. Absolutely unbelievable, the scenery. Oh, yeah. It's, um, I'm just going to show you around there now. That's, uh, that's heading towards the Eastern Fells, Dove Crag and uh, Hart Crag and um, Fairfield over that way. And the clouds are still sitting there. Heading towards Grisdale Tarn down that way and the hawes in between. Can't quite see. You can see the Scarfell range behind us as well. Scarfell Pike and Scarfell sitting in the little islands in the far distance there. And then if you just spin around a little bit further, you've got Dolly Wagon Pike just straight behind us there now. Uh, and the tongue sticking out that we camped on last weekend. And then further around, I've just panned around a bit further. You've got uh, Hell Veln and Stride and Edge and um, Nethermost Pike with that way. Just starting to get covered in cloud there now. And um, it's pretty much been cloud all the way down the valley all day. Um, you can see down towards down towards uh, Pooley Bridge where I've come from, down Derwent Water, uh, down uh, Ullswater. That's uh, that's been covered all morning, so my wife will be uh, a bit disappointed with this. Gimli got her last inversion, what, 10 years ago now. That was a pretty special day as well, on the top of Hencombe. That day, we were again treated, alongside our little lad Ollie, to this fabulous view, looking down the Buttermere Valley. I looked a bit different back then, but our little heart hasn't changed. But I wish you could have seen this one, Pet. This is a special end, as far as I'm concerned. This is uh, this is down towards Deepdale getting covered, and you've got the the far eastern fells in the in the distance there, and the the, uh, the high street range where the Roman road is over the top there. Absolutely spectacular. That's what you call this. That lot there, where the sun is. Well, I could look at that view all day. And for me, it really was a hiker's dream. I don't want to come down, but I hope you've enjoyed the, I hope you've enjoyed the spectacle as much as I have. And uh, I'll catch you later.